Okay, this gentleman asks, can you one day make a video on the word Easter that appears in the King James Bible? Many great preachers discredit themselves by saying it is an error, and many that defend the King James Bible say that the apostles were celebrating Easter. Okay, and, and I, I agree that anybody that says it's an error is rejecting the Word of God, which is essentially ejecting, uh, rejecting Jesus Christ, because Jesus is the Word of God. And... Even Jesus says the scripture cannot be broken. Uh, the Bible is very clear that the, the word of God is preserved forever. Old Testament, New Testament. Man cannot live on bread alone, but by every word of God. So, let's take a look at uh, the word Easter. And my opinion is probably not very popular I, I don't, you know not very many people hold the opinion that I have uh, but I'm very strong about my opinion that it's not an error okay so let's take let's uh, examine this real quickly now about the time Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church and he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword, and because he saw it please the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread, and when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaterns of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Okay, Peter therefore was kept in prison. All right, so there's two key words here. In my opinion to understand this okay so in verse 3 when it says then were the days of unleavened bread this is directly connected to the word Easter intending after Easter intending after the days of unleavened bread the days of unleavened bread was the Passover the, the feast of the Jews and of course I, I really hope that you understand what that was and they would take all the leaven out of the house and eat only unleavened bread, the leaven is representative of sin. And so when Jesus died on the cross, he takes away all of the leaven. He takes away all the sin. All right, so this was uh, the days of the unleavened bread was a foreshadowing, if you will, of what was to come and it came it happened it fo was fulfilled on the cross when Jesus died so he takes away all of the sin all the unleavened and so in my in my opinion now this I mean this could only be that the word Easter is a fulfillment of the word Passover all right so because Passover is fulfilled um, there's a a new word for uh, you know there's a a new word for the fulfillment of that um, and it's not just the King James Bible that I know there's so much uh, bad teaching on this um, it's the translators of the King James Bible did not invent that word. So I don't want to get into it too much, but you see here 72 mentions of the word Passover in the Bible. And if you go to the New Testament, you'll see 26 mentions of the word Passover. And if you wanted to include uh, the word Easter, that would be 27. All right, so if you look at each mention of the word Passover, okay, there's only one time that this event, this thing, this whatever you want to call it, 
this uh, feast of the Passover or, or what have you, um, just the Passover itself, only one time is it is there a mention of this thing in a post um, how do I say that a post Jesus death okay so like uh, for example um, in, it was the preparation of the Passover so this is before in context before the Passover purge out therefore old leaven that ye may be a new lump as you are unleavened, for even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Through faith he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should be should touch him. So in in Acts twelve, this in the context is after the death of Jesus. So to say to call it a Passover would be to assume that the Passover was not fulfilled. So that's why it's proper to have this new word that means the fulfillment of the Passover, which is Jesus Christ. So that's my opinion. I hope that's simple. And I hope it's clear that, you know, if you look at each mention of the word Passover and in its context, every time it's mentioned, it's in mentioned either pre or during that particular Passover. So the word Easter is post death of Jesus. And when Jesus died, he is the Passover. So he cleanses us from all our sin, which again further hammers home the point that you cannot lose your salvation if you are saved. Period. He takes away all our sins. Believe me, I'll get more into that. Thank, but thanks for the question. Appreciate it.